Yo, what they do? It's your boy, Batch, but you already know. Uh, back in New Orleans. N n I can never say it right. New Orleans, New Orleans, NOLA, LA. Is the, it's the, uh, the initials is L Louisiana. Ha! Shit! I got more scenes tomorrow. Um, but yeah. So, we're gonna live life and enjoy it. Let me call Chris Wild. Chris Wild! What's up, bro? What up, dog? Say what's up to Team Batch. What's up, Team Batch? What's really good? <laughs> Yo, when I get back to LA, we gotta do some challenges. Done. That's why I'm repping LA right now. <laughs> Dope. Your birthday's coming up this Saturday? Uh, yeah, dude, we're celebrating uh, Saturday. And then, but the actual day is Monday. That's Monday. a national holiday, people. Take off work. I'm an old man, dude. <laughs> no, you're not. You're 20, 21, 22? Uh, my, my dick is 22. <laughs> I'm 40 years old. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Oh, shit. My agents are calling me. Boom. Decline. Yo. All right. Cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yo, I'm on the phone with Chris Wilde. Agents like, can wait. Time. <laughs> Why, how come I don't see the slot machines in the background? Ah oh, shit, my agents keep calling. Decline. They can leave a voicemail. Chris Wilde's on the phone. That's right. They want you to play the funny black guy in the new MacGyver. <laughs> You're welcome in advance. Why, thank you, kind sir. You're a gentleman and a lady. And a lady. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, man. I miss you so much. I miss well, you so when you, much. When you get back to LA, we're gonna do it up. I'm just gonna say your name three times and hopefully you appear. Poof. <laughs> it's like Beetlejuice. Oh shit, they keep calling me. It must be important. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll call you later. I'll talk to you soon. Peace. Hello? Hey, Batch. I have Jordan Burkis, Josh Katz, and Ben Jacobson for you. The whole team. Alright, cool. Sounds the whole good. Team. Yo, what up, team? How's the movie going? Yo, the movie's going fantastic. I'm killing it. We about to be famous in these streets. What I'm about to do right now is go get some Fogo de Chao. Y'all know I love this Brazilian place. So, I'm about to, damn this shit foggy. This is how hot it is out here. In my hotel room, just watching some Olympics. And it's crazy just watching the Olympics and seeing all the people I competed with in college, like dominating in the Olympics. Let me show you, I'll show you guys some of my uh, track stuff. Uh, when I was in college, <sighs> don't laugh at me. This is a four by one meter uh, relay race. Um, let me fast forward to me. That's me right there. Look at Young Batch. Young Batch. Yeah, I am. Alright, so high jump was my main event. As you can see, six foot seven inches right here. And these are the jumps that I'm doing. Boom. And keep in mind, I was like 5'8, five, 5'9 five, in college, 6'11. A boom. A boom. A boom. 7'1. A uh, boom. Seven two. A uh, boom. Five eight plus hops. Your boy batch. One hundred percent steroids free. I don't know why I wore that shirt. Um, Derek Druin, look at that. He's in the Olympics right now. Look at this. Ugh. All right, look, Derek Druin, Andrew Bachelor. He jumped seven four. I jumped seven two. The same meet. And what's crazy is we're both Canadian, but yeah, now he's in the Olympics. He got, I think he got silver at the Olympics last, the last Olympics, and he's competing right now. That's so crazy! I could have been great, y'all. I could have been in the Olympics, y'all. I could have been in the Olympics, but I decided to do acting. All right, this is indoor nationals, six ten. Your boy, boom, jumped over. 
Hit him with the slow mo, boom. Jumped over. 7 2, 7.2, boom, jumped over. This is 7 feet, y'all. I could have been great in my lifetime. I'm proud. I'm proud that people I know and used to compete with are actually doing great, succeeding. That just shows you guys anything's possible. Just live your dreams. Just go out and be great at what you want to be great at. Don't let people tell you no. Of course, it's going to be hard when you first start out, but if you just keep pushing, like never give up, you'll be able to reach it. Like my biggest goal, I want to be the biggest movie star in the world, and I'm just going to keep on practicing, keep on doing what I have to do to get there, doing like movies and stuff now, and it's slowly getting to where I need to go, but it's just like, just I just keep going. I don't take no for an answer. The biggest thing is consistency with everything. Like nothing happens overnight. You know, everything, it takes time and it takes practice and dedication. And you know, people may say, oh, keep at you so funny. Not, I mean, okay, I'm just, a, I'm just silly. I'm just a silly person. Who, I just like to have fun. That's all it is, you know? And I just really believe in if you want to be great at something, you have to spend the time, whatever it is, studying what that thing is before you really jump into it. So for instance, if you want to be like a great actor, like study great actors, who's your, pick your favorite actor, watch all of their movies, every single one. Like don't even miss one out, you know? Like Denzel Washington, Will Smith, those are my favorite actors. I've probably seen all of their movies. When you study the greats, you study people who've, who've done it before and, and have been successful at what you want to be successful at. You start to see traits of success. And you, like, subconsciously, those traits get, like, embedded into yourself. I don't know what your, your path career is if you want to be, like, you know, the head of, like, some kind of accounting firm. You got to look to see what steps they made to get there, whoever that head is, you know. But yeah, guys, moral of the story, if you want to be great, it takes hard work, dedication, focus, and studying. Studying whatever that is, you got to be smart. And it's it's a chess game. It's not checkers. Okay, you got to go, you got to have like a 10-year a plan, all right? Don't think it's going to happen in like a year or two. You got to be willing to lose a little bit, you know? You got to, you got to, you got to fail. That's the only way you learn. The only way you learn is by failing. You know, like when I was making my videos at first, like I would make stuff and then like just nobody would watch them. I'd be like, eh, nobody's watching. I just kept doing it, kept doing it. I kept finding out what people like to watch. And then, you know, slowly but surely I, I, I developed a, a pattern on, you know, how to make viral videos and what people like to see. It's crazy, sometimes I wanna do some weird stuff, like just some stuff that doesn't make any sense, but I know, you know, people are gonna be like, what, what is this, this is weird. Oh, batch fell off. So yeah, you just gotta study it if you wanna be great, guys. I believe in you. Team Batch, everybody. I wanna see everybody win. I wanna see you win. I wanna see you be great. I wanna see you dominate in whatever you wanna do. Who just text me? They not trying to be great. But yeah. My drive and determination comes from doing sports in college, doing track in college. Like, if you think about it, I'm 5'8", I'm right? I'm short. Why am I doing high jump, you know? People always told me, hey, you're short. Just why don't you do sprints? Why don't you do that? I was like, but I like to, I like to jump. That's what I like to do. I like to fly, you know. I always wanted to be like Superman. I want to fly. That's what I want to do. So I did that, and I kept practicing. Like at first, I sucked. I sucked. I sucked. And then I got better. And then I got better. And then I got better, you know. And then I was like dominating. And it wasn't just because like I was like I wasn't just saying it. I was saying it, and I was also studying people. I was studying all the short high jumpers and how they did it. I was. I was working hard in the gym, hard in the tracks. I was I was really like using my smarts and really like buckling down and working harder 
than I should have. You know, I wasn't just doing what they were doing in practice. I was doing stuff at home to try and be great. You gotta, you gotta aim to be great. And that drive from sports, I think I apply that to everything in life now. Like I just work hard with everything I do. I focus, it's all about focus. It's about, it's not just about working hard, it's about working smart. Like you gotta work hard, but you really gotta focus and key in on that one thing. Now I'm watching gymnastics. I never really understood the music and the dancing of gymnastics. I understand the flips, I understand the tricks, but I never understood the actual dancing of it. Like, yeah, is it supposed to be entertaining? Oh, wow, see, like this, like boom. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. But this, not so much. Like, I could do that. If you're in the Olympics, you should be doing things that I can't do. I can wave my hands. I can move my feet like that. This, I cannot do. Yo, she is amazing. Oh my gosh. That's Bay. What? How is she even? Is that? Those are real dance moves that I can't do. Stop texting me, I'm watching Simone. Oh my gosh. How? If you text me one more time, I swear. Dang. That's crazy. She won. Damn, she cute too. Yo, I think I'm gonna marry a gymnast one day. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna marry a gymnast. Dang! What? Why her knee so ashy though? Let me try this shit. Hold on. Ugh, hungry. Nothing like a late night snack. Chicken tenders? Chicken tenders, all right. Did you want a dipping sauce like honey mustard ranch barbecue? Uh, hot sauce. Hot sauce, right. And barbecue sauce as well. Barbecue and hot sauce, all right. Second plate your order? Yeah, that's it, thank you. And it's for one, two people? Just one. One, all right, should be up in front of All right, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Ah. <sighs> Just for one, until I marry a gymnast. I am no one. What's up guys, I'm about to head to set right now. Finish filming this movie, it's my last week. And then I'm back to California, yay. Um, right now I'm putting my room key in my SpongeBob backpack. Yo, isn't that a dope backpack? I love that backpack. One of my friends gave it to me. And now I wear it almost every single day. I studied my lines last night, this morning. I think I've got them down. While I was brushing my teeth, I was reading more lines. Ah, the life of a, an actor. Always studying, always reading, always preparing. Because that's just how I do it. I, oh, look at my reflection back there. Y'all can kind of see what I be doing. <laughs> ah, this is a sneak peek. Ah. Housekeeping is Dorian speaking. How may I be of assistance? Uh, yes. Can I get cleaning service to my room, please? I'm sorry. Can I get cleaning service to my room, please? Absolutely, Mr. Bachelor. I'll send someone right up. Thank you. I just stepped on that. Come on, please be this one. Ugh, oh, fucking. Now my edit's gonna look stupid. Open, search me. Thank you. Your chariot arrives, sir, in three, two. Hey, how are you? Okay, and you? Good, thanks. Ah, oh, my favorite person! 
What's up? Look at this Florida girl. Oh, look at that beautiful Florida girl. Damn, that shit look good, man. Yo, yo. I'm back. How are you? Hey. Lunch, lunch position. Lunch? How was lunch? Was it good? Uh, it was pretty good. Was bad. I had, I liked it. Baked beans, mac and cheese. We didn't have the good stuff. We didn't have the good Run, stuff. Diet. What? Jimmy diets. No, why? You guys are both skinny. Oh, Come on. Come on. Charming. Tomorrow's the last day, right? Kind of. Kind of? What does kind of mean? Friday is our last day. Snow tea. Am I in on Friday? No, I don't know how since working Friday. I think it's just stuff. We got plate shots and stuff. As of right now. Oh. No cast. Yeah. Dang, I might fly back home. Look how beautiful she is. Where is she? There she yeah. is. Look at that Florida girl. Get my makeup done. She's making me beautiful right now. It doesn't take much work either. Oh, stop it! Yes. Oh. What is the um this thing right here? What's that drink? I see it everywhere. Oh, Lacroix. 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 Is yeah. it soda? It's just a fizzy water. That's all, really. It's oh, some it's of water flavored. Um, yeah. Just water. So the reason I flew back to, to um, LA is because I was watching the Olympics and then uh, I don't know if you follow track at all, but Usain Bolt, he's like the Oh yes, I've seen everybody doing the dance. I saw must have seen some highlights or something. Yeah. And I did see him come from like the I way mean back, like right? way back and never even stopped. He was pretty amazing yeah. to watch. I did get to see him finish that race. That so I watched I like I watched like the race before the final. And I just saw like how he just jogs everything, and uh -huh. he follows me on Instagram. So I was oh, like, does he? "Yeah." So I was like, "Let me make a video for him about it." So I went back and I came up with an idea, and then I filmed that video. That's cool. It's going down. What's are oh, we missed? There you go. <laughs> this fucking fruit. Look at this fucking fruit. Fucking fruit. Ugh. Fucking fruit, yo. Let me get this right here. Sweet or sour, what do you think? Oh my god, this fruit is so sweet. Mr. Baby Money himself. This is what I live to be an actor for. The only reason. And that is a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna go home, edit this vlog, put it up just for you guys. But first, I'm gonna take off this makeup because I am too beautiful right now. God damn it. Took off my makeup. Back to basics, y'all. Back to basics. What the? What is that? <laughs> All right, y'all, that's today. If this vlog made you smile, enjoy your day, just a little teensy witsy bit more, smash it with a big thumbs up. Boom, boom, boom. Turn on the notifications so you can be a part of the notification squad. Hey, I see y'all. Y'all are live right now. Subscribe so I can see you tomorrow. And tomorrow, and the day after that, and the day after that. And I want you batches to know that I love you so much. I love you so freaking much. <sighs> Subscribe!